Hello everybody, Yemen and Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris. In our last episode, we pretty much got everything started up. Um, we are playing as the Turk Nihon Empire of humanity. Um, the resultant combined forces of the empires that, sir, that came out of uh, my Hearts of Iron 3 uh, Turkish Empire campaign. Um, at least that's what we're intending this to be anyway. Um, so we have gotten our initial exploration done. We've begun uh, surveying the nearby star systems. We sent our um, military fleets out to explore. And we've already discovered a few neighbors. The um, Havolis, Centralized States, the United Photetian Hierarchy, and the Serene Kuvarian League, and the Hazar Unity. These guys are going to be interesting. Because this is a fallen empire and it is right next door. These guys are incredibly powerful. So, we're going to be best to try to leave them alone and not make them too mad at us. Um, because they would just crush us like a bug if we uh, went to war with them right now. Um, so... In that vein, what I actually want to do is I want to go and talk to them. They're dismissive of us right now. See, they have overwhelming relative power. Um, I'm going to establish an embassy to try to improve our relations with them right now. It's minus 10. It's not bad. But I would really like to get that to be positive. Um, because I would rather, you know, not get, you know, curb stomped um, by them right now. All right, so let's go ahead and unpause it. Let's get things moving. Um, we did finish researching the technology to get colony ships, and we are waiting for our uh, minerals to uh, get to a point where we can actually build a colony ship. And then we're going to go uh, colonize. So we have a colonizable planet here in Alpha Centauri. In fact, we have three habitable worlds in Alpha Centauri, and two of them are actually colonizable right now. Alpha Centauri 2, Alpha Centauri 3, and 3A is a tropical world that we can't colonize quite yet, but actually would be a nice colony uh, once we get there. So, you know, that's going to make our core worlds fairly dense as far as population goes. Not exactly a bad thing. Ooh, anomaly here. Um, by chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? All right, we'll research it. 50% chance of failure. Now, I could send my construction ship to go build stuff, because we can build stuff here and here, um, and even here, but I'm trying to save up my minerals for that colony ship, so we're going to kind of hold off on that. Um, for now, and just kind of get our um, our surveying done in the meantime. Uh, ancient life pod. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Kangath 8. It's covered in scratch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew with the TCG vers Versatile managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or a revered leader. Interesting, so we got some um, society research. That's good. And we are... So I'm going to run this research here, the Void Cloud Observation, because we can just get that done. These guys, we actually need to um, collect some corpses of some of the uh, nearby creatures. Alright, so you're done there, so let's get them surveying another research system. Complete. Ah. Beltharian Refining. Okay, so that'll reveal... Um, 
Beltharian stone, which allows us to build more powerful uh, power generators. So that's nice. All right, so we'll select the new research. Um, spaceport level two. Coil gun? Uh, let's go with spaceport level two. All right, we got another ship that needs orders. There's something hostile here, so we're not going to go there. Uh, let's survey that system. Special project complete. Void unclouded. Okay, the void clouds are, as far as human researchers can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years after matter as we know it first appeared. The tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer might lie in the abnormally strong electro electromagnetic fields that keep them together, another product of their primordial beginnings. It is not inconceivable that, given enough time, the circulation of its strange stardust and gravitic fields align in a flexible approximation of neural pathways. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another, if not outright communicating, light years apart. Quantum entanglement is suspected to play a role in this phenomenon. Let's see. They will not stand in our way. We'll get 60 physics research. We got the cloud buster modifier. Yes, we'll say will not stand in our way. All right. Now one thing we really do need to do is Get our combat fleet more powerful than it currently is. Ooh, deflectors. Improved deflectors? No, not quite yet. Let's go with the gravitic sensors. So we can actually modify our ship designs right now. Primarily our Corvette. Um, we don't really need to worry about the other designs right now. And give our Corvette some deflectors. And we'll need to give it more power. Ooh, alien proto-civilization. The survey of Hitamar, the uh, Hitamar 2, has revealed that certain regions of the planet are home to pr primitive alien proto-civilization. Proto show that their Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a rudimentary spoken language. We have not yet to see any evidence of metallurgy or written communication. Okay, interesting. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. The most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Earth. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid the continued search for strange life forms. Excellent. So we gain some society research, we gain some energy credits. Very good. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And what I'll actually do is, let's see, how much is it gonna cost? It's gonna cost 50. Yeah, let's do it. We'll upgrade our ships um, to the newer design with the shields. So I'll retrofit them with shields. All right, system survey complete. System survey complete. All right, good. Ooh. Is a pulsar? I think it's a pulsar. So let's send send these guys to survey the pulsar. And we'll send Ships you guys completed. construction complete. Survey that system. The pulsars are cool looking. They would think that the planets that would be around that thing would be uh, far too irradiated to be useful. Alright, how much actually do we need to build that colony ship? Okay, 79.86 more minerals. 
All right, so it'll take about another eight months, plus or minus. So you got a pop growing here. What I really do need to do is clear all these tile blockers. But again, we are waiting for the first colony ship before we do much else. So let's just roll things forward here. 311, 324. 238, okay. Um, one of our scientists just leveled up. Good. System survey complete. Oh, what's this? Found. The detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet. Norgon 5. What manner of organism could possibly live there? Failure risk 15%. Alright, go ahead and research it. Oh, yeah. System survey complete. Any life that's going to exist in this system is going to be below the surface. Silicon life forms. Some kind of burrowing silicon-based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Norgon 5. As best we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Intriguing. Okay, so that uh, increase allows us to build a research station there. All right, continue to survey. Evading hostile fleet. Or they got kicked out of there. All right, get over there. Oh no, don't do that. Well, if you're going to do that, then just go here and survey. And you guys can go here and survey. Alright, and actually, uh, yeah, we have plenty of minerals to do that uh, colony construction now. So, um, uh, well, where, where am I going? Uh, here. Spaceport, build, build a colony ship. And... What? I don't know where these other, like, ship classes are showing up. But... The Pearl class is the one that we actually are working on, so... We'll throw a couple of Pearl class Corvettes in there as well. Because we need to get the, uh, the fleet bolstered. So we can start, um, collecting some specimens. Uh, let's see. What's this? Repeated scans of Wetidge 3's surface give inconsistent sensor readings, almost as if the planet itself was in a constant state of upheaval. Alright. Let's see, can I do a better scientist? Let's actually send you over there. How's the research coming along? Okay, that's almost done. Still got some time left on those. This is the anomaly. Okay, that's being... And this ship should be going there to get the investigate the anomaly. Okay, yeah. He's got the better scientist on it. Uh, alien proto-civilization found. Okay, another one. Uh, 
Alright, so the construction ship... Oh, uh, what's this? Grimacing. The very geological structure of Wittige 3 is indeed in flux, driven by what science officer Jiro Shimizu assures us is a tectonic process as fascinating as it is esoteric. What is of more interest to the Turk Nihon Empire is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless, chaotic self transformation. In short, a near instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more habitable is theoretically possible. Jewish Yamizu estimates that an additional 200 any credit energy credits will be needed to power a thorough mapping of the planetary activity, determine the validity of what the science officer has termed a surgical terraforming strike. Actual terraforming lies beyond our grasp at present, so this is an exciting opportunity. 200 energy credits? 50% chance of success. Uh, yeah, let's try it. See what happens. Ah, failed. Our dispatch are disappointed to report that the window of opportunity for terraforming with Tige 3 has closed, despite their best efforts to identify it in time. Another opportunity is unlikely to raise for another few centuries. Unfortunate. Alright. Now they're going to go back to their uh, surveying over there. Alright, so. Our construction ships. Uh, we probably want to get... Mining stations? We're going to need a bit Systems more... Complete. Um, resources, minerals to do that. Right, let's just keep that survey running. Research complete. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, hostiles. Alright, uh, graphic sensors, sensors just finished, so let's see. Unlocks module observatory. Power hub one. Physics lab one. Red lasers. So we could add lasers. Or fusion power. Well, let's go with the lasers. Oh, the colony, sh the colony ship is done. Alright, so let's go to Alpha Centauri. Which one of these do we want to... That one's at 80%, that one's 80%. Um, planet size is 14. Planet size here is 23. So this is probably the much better planet to start construction on. So, we're going to colonize this planet. And let's drop... Let's drop our colony there. Resource-rich node, right off the bat. Alright, we're almost got enough minerals to start building um, mining facilities here. Oh, there it is. And actually, I want to manually do this, because I want to tell them where they're going to build their mining. Build the mining station here first. Hold and shift. Mining station there second. Alright, the first human colony. Our colony ship has gently touched down at the mouth of a large river delta on one of the several continents we found on Sate. Natchbull. We're probably going to have to change the name of that um, planet. This temperate forested region will serve as an ideal first landing site. 
The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers the first human city on an alien world. Yes, a great day for the Empire. It's going to take some time for that colony to actually finish building. Complete. Um, it's going to take 13 months. It costs us 8 power per month to do that. Which is why I wanted to get that power uh, station built here first. I got to think of a better name than Saint Natch Bull. Um, so we can rename it whatever we want. Um, All right, oh, we got a science ship idle here. Uh, let's send you over here, survey system. Can we build... No. We need one more month and we can build another Corvette. I'd rather get another Corvette. At least. There we go. Build the Pearl Class Corvette. Size Corvette. The birth of space piracy. Naval intelligence has reported several attacks on civilian shipping in our space within the last several months. The perpetrators appear to be deserters and other renegade elements from Earth. These criminals have put together a makeshift space fleet out of heavily modified civilian hulls and now call themselves the Sons of the Night. Although crew of their vessels are a clear threat, they cannot be ignored. Alright, we'll have to deal with them. You know what I think this is? Um, it's because we are a military dictatorship. Um, is actually the each leader can build their own ship and I think that is what this is it'll be our, our leader's ship oh what are we off engaging oh it got away hostile fleet system survey complete have detected the presence of a pre-space flight Alien civilization on Havankir 2. Atmospheric contaminants and light pollution visible from orbit are consistent with a densely populated machine age society. They appear to have mastered air travel and factories are mass producing goods in their cities. We consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. We are absolutely going to do that. Station um, so over attack. here. Construction ship under attack. Construction ship under attack. Uh oh. There they are. Our construction ship is probably not gonna survive this. But we'll see. Engage. Actually, let's assign an admiral. Ship hull points, ship upkeep. Uh, let's recruit you, assign you as the Admiral of that fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. Yep, we've got him. Stinking pirates. Situation log updated. All right, so research finished. Improve spaceport. Let's go with the nano composite armor, and let's send you guys back home for repairs. Get a science ship over here to analyze the debris. My construction ship. Actually, let's send the construction ship over here to build a frontier outpost. 
colony established. Ah, the colony finished. Okay, so. Um, let's see, what do we got here on the surface? Uh, we're making good food. So what we probably actually want to do is get a power plant built and get someone working on that power plant first. We can't build a spaceport there yet. We are going to want to build a spaceport there. Alright, you survey the system. Alright, Earth. Let's say, let's build... Mining Network. We're gonna need a power plant there. Construction complete. Debris analyzed. What do we get? Uh, nano composite materials plus 10% progress, physics research plus 5, engineering research plus 15. Okay, good. Let's see, he's got armor 3. Speed's the same. Shields are the same. Actually, let's go ahead and build this. Uh, Corvette assembly yards, I can't do that. We can build that Corvette. Once we get that Corvette built, I'm going to send it to this system here. See what's there. Might be more than we can handle, but we'll just take a look. We'll set them to um, passive for now. Construction complete. All right, Corvette got built. Let's send them over there. Complete. Oh, what do we got here? All those sublight probes. Search Gathry Maelstrom. Which is over here, which I can't because it's inside that guy's territory. Um, search Kuma. So I don't even know where Kuma is. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, I mean, I could probably beat each one of these individually, but that's a little more than we can probably handle if they all come at us. And they're probably all going to come at us. So, let's get them out of there for now. Research complete. Alright, this science ship, where, where are you? Over there? Let's see, we're going to send you... Oh, there's a, there's a special project. Naval base. And he's a skill five scientist. Okay. Ooh. Survey system. Let's get you building. Oh, where's our construction ship? Build an observation post there. What I actually might want to do is build a second construction ship. Uh, ooh, but I can't. Insufficient minerals. We'll be able to next month. Alright, where are you guys? 
Let's bring you over here. Oh, we have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that calls themselves the Provalguvar League. Ooh. I believe that's Fungaloid. I speak for this guy and wealthy elite. The only ways are projectionable to us, but perhaps we can still engage in limited trade, assuming your inferior civilization produces anything of value. Well. Where are they? There they are. Alright, what do we got over here? 128 uh, crystalline entities. Let's go ahead and engage. Oh, we need a new uh, research here. Um, Unlocks building military academy. Let's get rid of the tile, do the tile blocker one. Hostile fleet engaged. We should be able to take this down, no problem. Yep. Research complete. Well, looks like we have some Corvettes here that don't have any shields. Oh, that's our oversized Corvette. The Ymours civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Nadex. They've advanced into the equivalent of an Iron Age and are divided into numerous petty kingdoms and empires. The species has spread across almost the entire surface of the planet. We should consider building an observation post. Yeah, we will build an observation post. Oh, we're going to lose a Corvette there. Science ship, get over here and analyze the debris. Ooh, crystalline entities shattered. The crystalline entities, a new designation better reflecting their apparent status as silicate yet matter, are tough and aggressive adversaries. Our engagements have allowed us to pinpoint structural weaknesses that should theoretically be shared among all individual crystalline entities. This fortunate, oh, this is fortunate. So fleets will need to engage with several more specimens if we are to learn anything about these enigmatic prisms. What we do know is that changes in levels of apparent aggression and internal generation of power uh, that drives their weapon like discharge are accompanied by shifts in how the crystals break light. In essence, it is likely that human ships will eventually encounter crystal entities in different colors and should be prepared for differences in behavior and combat capabilities. Okay, noted. Let's send these guys back. For repairs. Alright, construction ship. Do we have any other resources there? Not really. Um, actually, get over here. Oh, we can't yet. Well, there we go. Uh, now I should be able to build the mining stations there. All right, once they're done with that, I want them to survey the system. And these guys can just keep on surveying. Ooh. 
Research speed plus 5%. So we're panels. Let's go with the increased research speed. My repairs are, are done. Debris analyzed. We get green crystal capacitors, generative hull tissue, and some research points. Okay. Comet sighted. A fierce plume of flame sears the heavens of Earth as a comet skirts the upper stratosphere. The sheer power evident in its cosmic trajectory uh, has made a profound impression on the capital's populace. They liken the intractability of its path to the inevitability of the Turk Nihon Empire's ascension to galactic supremacy. To victory! Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have a skill 5 scientist yet? No, we don't. We need to shatter, f shatter four more crystals. We still haven't disassembled any... Disassembled any drones. Oh, there's a void cloud over there. Or sighted in that system. We're going to want to replace that Corvette. Actually, I wanted to build another construction ship, but didn't I? Uh, we'll go with the Corvette. Anomaly found. Ooh, anomaly. What's this? Signs of battle. A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this moon. Possibly the remnants of some kind of massive fleet action. Okay, research it. Alright, how do things look here? Happiness. Okay, it's 60% because the base is 60% and there's nothing to improve it. Complete. Um, how does food look? You know what? Food's going to be important here, so let's build food there. Signs of battle. There's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Ejagan 4A at some point last 5,000 years. Service on one side of the moon is pockmarked with craters from straight weapons blasts. On very poor condition, the fact that anything remains. Alright, intriguing. Situation log updated. So does that give me a special project there to analyze the debris? Indeed it does. Uh, I'll add that research project to its queue. System survey complete. Now, where was that other? Are these the Yamors, or who? Who are these? No. Found. These are the Mech Pucks civilization. It's going to the presence of a foreign alien made object on one of Binder 5A's many frozen mountaintops. Alright, go ahead and research it. Um, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to switch this over to. Um, we can covertly infiltrate them. Gradually place world leaders and prepare the planet for annexation by us. It's only worthwhile in an industrial civilization. Is this is an industrial civilization, is it not? Yes. It's gonna cost five power and five society research. It's gonna cost a lot of society research. Let's, let's do it. See if we can annex them and incorporate them into the Empire. 
Um, so what we're gonna need, because right now we're at zero society research, we need something that's gonna get us some society research. Um, over here, we need a research station. We don't need to build all of them, we just need to build one. Construction complete. We got one society research, one society research. Okay, so they finished constructing the farm, but the the pop there hasn't filled in yet. Oh, we got some society some society research we can do on their planet. What about soul? Or earth? I have to clear that whiff of something. The TCG Versatile has discovered or recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Binder 5A. Clusters of small perforations on five sides lead science officer Ken Patterson to believe it is not a container but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. Initial tests seem to confirm their suspicions as trace aromatics still emanate from the object. A special project has been issued to confirm whether this might be an information carrying device constructed by some alien race, communicating primarily through the secretion and reception of atmosphere-borne chemical compounds, or smells. All right. So that is where Binder. Situation right. log updated. Over here. So we need a level three scientist or higher, which this guy is. So we'll add that research project to the queue. And we've got to get this research post built so that we can actually make progress on our society research. Special project complete. All right, the team under science officer Jiro Shimizu has finished their expedition on Ijagin 4A and returned to the TCG Emissary. Sadly, the wrecked starships on the surface were too badly damaged to recover any useful technologies. Three vessels were clearly very advanced, however, and we could gain valuable engineering insight if we analyzed the way they were designed. We should consider the construction of a permanent science outpost in orbit. Okay, so I got us plus three... Um engineering research from that planet should we build a station there oh there appears to be a spawn oh. well that's the special project that needs a skill five which isn't skill five yet so actually no let's send you over there to survey that system instead. system survey complete Strike force. And let's send them over there to get ready to go into this system to engage that void cloud. Hopefully we'll be able to take it out. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, apparently we got a hostile fleet over here. What is it? Ooh, some very, very powerful void clouds. Special project complete. Oh, actually, we can survey this system. Survey that system instead. Oh, and actually, we we're getting kind of log on this episode. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We are making some progress. We were able to get our first colony built. We have a frontier outpost, and we are going to attempt to infiltrate this alien civilization and incorporate them into our empire. I mean, are they... What are their, like, traits here? They're phonetic individualists, they're spiritualists, they're thrifty, intelligent, they have ocean world preferences. 
So they might be useful as members of our of our empire there. So Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.